Hello everyone, today we'll continue learning Python and today I'll show you how to use singleton design pattern. So let's start. But before we start that video, I recommend you subscribing to my Telegram channel. You will find lots of materials, modules, libraries, examples and tasks on Python in my Telegram channel. Also, I put all the announcements there. So if you want to understand what will happen to the channel in the near future, you can go here. And I respond to comments much faster than I do it on YouTube. So subscribe to my Telegram channel, link in the description down below. I think a lot of you know about that pattern and why do we use it. But for those who don't know, singleton pattern, it's a pattern for special cases where you need only one object of your class. So for example, you have a database connection and for some reason you only need to open one connection for your whole program. So only one connection is opened. What you can do? You can create, uh, for example, DB connection. Then you can create database equals, let's call it singleton just for, for the, I, I, I don't want to change the name, okay? For you to remember that singleton is the design pattern that does that, okay? So database, then in another file, I'll create database two, then database three, database four, that database five. So what I'm doing right now, right now, I open a connection right here. And then what I need to do? I need to close the previous connection. So for example, database dot close and open another one. So database two. Every time I need to check if the connection is opened, I need to close that connection. I need to open a new one. I need to close every connection every time. But what I can do instead of that? Instead of that, I can create, imagine only one object that is returned, that is returned every time you call a singleton constructor. So every time you call any need, but I'll talk about that later. And you know that we use links in Python, so database variable forwards you to singleton object in the memory. Database2 does the same. But imagine, but uh, now these are two separate objects. So we have object1, object2. How we can check that? We can print database and print database2. Let's run it. And as you can see, main singleton object at, and that's uh, the memory then that's the memory are variable in right now. So as you can see, what we have right here, they are almost equal, but as you can see, 848, 888. So we have different objects because they forward us our links to different uh, memory structures. Not structures, but different memory locations. So what, what you can see right here, yes, again, 848. Let's run it again. Let's run it again. Yeah, they are created on the same on the same memory line. But what is the difference between singleton and normal object? Now we have a normal object, but singleton only creates one object for your class. So again, database at database two will link to only one object and every variable can use that object. What I can do, how I can check that database and database two are the similar objects. So now we checked, but if you want to get true or false, you can use is, is operator in Python. So database two. So what it does, we have equals equals operator. So EQ in Python, and now it will return false because by default, if you compare two classes, what you need to do is use EQ operator, self other other, it's um, database two in our case. And you need to make your own checks to check if these objects are similar to each other or not. But by default, EQ, so that function, returns false. And that's why we can see false right here. But is, by default, returns either true or false. Is operator returns true if your objects, if database and database2 links um, are connected to the same object in the memory. And right now we will see false because singleton and singleton number two, so database number two, are different objects because we have not written our singleton design pattern yet. And how to do that? Well, first of all, let's create a variable called instance, which is none by default. As you can see, I use double underscore or they are called dunders. So double underscore. And uh, double underscore means that we cannot access our variable out outside of our class. So for example, if I can, if I want to use database.instance, I receive an error. Singleton object has no attribute instance, but actually you can access that variable 
but you should not do that because that variable is designed to only be, mm, to only be directly used inside of that singleton class we as a user do not need that variable at all okay then what i should do i should use init to create class yes well actually no so what is init init is a contraction of initialize and initialize sets the variables so initialize does not create your class it or, or your object it only sets the variables inside of that object but in python we have defined new and by the way init is often co called a constructor but uh, the real constructor is new in python but it doesn't actually matter because new is a low level operation typically and you will not mm, use it as quite often as you use init in python so if you haven't heard of new i think you use init a lot more than new okay so i talk too much what is new and as you can see we use dunders right here so double underscores new is a magic function magic function it's the function that starts with new with double underscores and ends with double underscores and that mag magic function does not accept self what it accepts it accepts cls so cls it's a construction contraction for class but we often when we have a keyword we should append uh, underscore after the name but cls is just better okay so cls it's a class and in our case if we print that cls and we'll run our program what we'll receive we'll receive class main singleton we receive it two times because we create two objects and then we receive true but why do we receive true why database is database two well because we can look at the value of database and data database comma data base two and what we'll see we'll see none as you can see none none and by the way none object it's a singleton object in python that's it none use a singleton as a design pattern that's the real application of singleton design pattern so again we return an object inside when we use new so if i return return one and i'll run my code i'll receive true why because database and data base two let's run it again as you can see one one we return an object out of a new we return an object from the new method in python classes but in init method we don't return anything we just set the variables and call the functions we need that's the main difference and now what i should do if i'll call super from uh, singleton not self but cls but actually you can remove uh, these arguments in python 3 so super from new and i should provide cls inside of new what i'll do i'll call objects new function so as you can see static method new cls and more arguments let's go to the top and as you can see class object if you don't know about object object is the most base type as you can see right here and every python class uh, inherits from object that's it as and as you can see object has its own new method and when i'll call super from new what i'll do i'll call singleton so i'll call objects new method and i'll create a new singleton if i run my program now what i'll see i'll see that uh, so when i print database and database 2 i can see singleton object at these are objects because we can see the uh, they are addresses and it actually says object at that address so now when we call super from new we receive like the real object but still we don't create singleton pattern why because database is database 2 operation returns false and as you can see we have uh, like these uh, memory addresses and 0 8 at the first address but 4 8 at the second address that means that our objects database and database two objects link to diff uh, so our links our variables database and database two variables link to different objects but singleton class and singleton pattern should use only one object and then that's where instance comes to our place so what we can do we can use if 
cos dot uh, under double underscore instance. And by the way, you can use double underscore variables inside of a quest. But if you go outside of the quest scope, then you cannot use them. Well, actually, you can access them, but it's not recommended, and you will not find like double underscore instance variable. It will be renamed. Okay. So now what you can see, if cos dot instance double underscore instance is none, then what we should do? Let's put pass right here and let's return right here. So let's remove that. So if cos instance is none, that means that we have not created our object yet. What we can do? We can use cos. Uh, we can use actually super. So let's remove that. Cos dot double underscore instance equals to super from new. So if we don't have our object inside of our instance variable, we create that object. And then we just simply return that object. That's actually it. That's our singleton pattern. As you can see, it's quite simple. What we do again, when we create our class, we check that we don't have, uh, that we check if we have or don't have our class. If we have our class, we just return cos instance because instance instance variable is not none. But if cos double underscore instance, I, I do not say dunders because again, dunders are double underscores. cos dunder instance is none, so we don't have our object created yet. Then what we do? We create that object using um, new method of the new method of the our ancestor. Okay, it will confuse you if I will say when we create our object, like when we assign cos dunder instance variable, we call objects, like we call object, like that object, that object class, like the most base type um, new method, and we provide our class inside of here. We create our singleton, or actually any class, it's just uh, an example with singleton. So we create our class, and after that, or our object, and after that, we assign it to cos double underscore instance. So again, if we don't have, I think you understand that code, and I just, I just talk too much. So again, if we don't have our object, we create that object. But if we have that object, we return the link to the same object. And let's run our code now. What do we see? Main singleton object, main singleton object, and a or database is database two gives us true. And you can compare these memory addresses, they will be equal. Because we don't create objects twice. We just mm, create object at the first database call. And then once we have that object, we return cos.instance. Singleton is the simplest design pattern in programming. And you can use it where you want, when you want, and how you want. Again, singleton, its main purpose is that your object, that your class creates only one instance of itself. So when you call um, a lot of singleton constructors, you do not create uh, an instance every time. You just get the instance that was already that has been already created, and because of that, first of all, it saves a lot of memory. Of course, if you need it, because if you, for example, have um, a game where you have enemies, you probably don't need a singleton because you have a lot of enemies and I think you understand me. But in some places, singleton is very, very useful. And actually, that's it. So, um, by the way, there are lots of methods of creating singleton. For example, you can use decorator, like decorator on the class. You can use meta class. But there are some drawbacks. And if you want me to show these methods, then just write that down in the comments. But I think that new method overriding is the most is the simplest method. And because of that, I showed it to you. Actually, I think I have nothing to add. So now we can only create one object, but that object can be created from any singleton constructor. Thank you for the watching and good luck.